Hello class! I am Mrs. Lorinel M. Conde. You can call me Mom Lori. And I'm going to be your Mathematics 7 teacher. So, before we start, I want you to get your module and a one whole sheet of paper. Mom, may question ko ako. Yes, Anna. So, what po you sa to Yes, Anna. That's, that's, that's what I said. One more sheet of paper. Okay, so ito muna tayo. So, get your module. And your module, by the way, is all about sets. Wow. Before we start, let's open your modules on page 3. On page 3, you're going to see uh, the activity, What I Know. That is numbers 1 to 15. Sasagutan niyo yan. Write on your white whole sheet of paper your name, grade and section, lagay niyo rin mathematics 7, um, then write module 1, and yung title nyo sinasagutan niyo, which is what I know. Okay, then numbers 1 to 15. Do not need to copy the Question. So, 1 to 15, just write the letter of the correct answer. Ma'am! Yes, anak. Answer na lang po ba? Yes, anak. Yun na nga yung sinabi ko kanina. Answers na lang. One numbers 1 to 15. Okay, next. So, you're given uh, time to answer the given questions. Okay, now, let us proceed. After answering numbers 1 to 15, let us proceed with page 4, which uh, entitled, What's In? What's In, mga anak? Yung numbers 1 to 5 yun. Ang direction doon, cross out the words that do or does not belong to the group. And then circle the words that goes with the same group. Okay, so hindi nyo cross out yan at mas e encircle kung hindi ninyo kukopyahin. So, ganito mga anak. Yung what's in part na yan, kukopyahin nyo yung buong uh, part. So, numbers 1 to 5. Tapos, kopyahin nyo yung wheel, electric fan, clock, lahat yung kukopyahin. Then, sundin yung instruction na i-equisan yung hindi belong at in-circle yung kasama dun sa same group. Okay, for example, number 1, yung wheel. Ano ba yung hindi kasama dyan? Yung electric fan ba? Yung clock? Orange or mango. Okay, isa niyo yun. Tapos, the rest na kasama, bibilugan ninyo. Okay, naintindihan ba? Ma'am, last question po. Copy and answer po ba? <laughs> Oo, oh, nga yun yung sabi ko, anak. Kukopyahin, tapos sasagutan, ha? Okay, now, let us proceed. Now, on page 5 of your module, you're going to uh, look for the activity, what's new. O, lalagyan nyo dun sa papel nyo, susulat nyo, what's new. Then, here's the direction. Marco and Tina are, are preparing for school. They need to organize their things so that they will not be confused where to find each item. Help them, help them sort the things inside the box on its appropriate compartment. So, ganito. Dun sa papel ninyo, susulat nyo yung word na pencil case. Tapos, lalagyan nyo ang box. Tapos, grooming kit, lalagyan ng box. Bag pockets, lalagyan ng box. Tapos, yung main bag, compartment, tapos lalagyan nyo ng box. You do not need to copy the drawing. Mga anak, doon lang tayo dun sa mga box na nasa gilid. Ano yung ilalagay natin sa box? So, may kita nyo dun sa may pinakalangin box sa taas ng drawing, ang yun yung mga choices. For example, toothpaste. Saan ba yung ilalagay? Sa pencil case ba yun? Sa grooming kit ba yun? Sa bag pockets? O sa main bag? Compart ma'am, ma'am. Oh yes, anak. Grooming kit po. Okay, that's correct. Doon natin ilalagay sa grooming kit. So, yun ay isa example ha. May isa na kayong tamang answer. The rest, you're going to separate kung saan siya nakalagay. Okay, kaya niyo na? Okay. Let us proceed with our lesson. These are the words that we're going to define throughout the module. So these are the important terms. The set, the elements, well-defined set, 
empty set and cardinality of set. So here are the definitions. Okay class, this is a set. A set is a well-defined collection of elements that share a common characteristic. So collection siya ng elements. Kailangan, yung elements na yun, yun yung laman ng set. Na, na nag-share ng common characteristic. So kailangan meron silang common. Next, define naman natin what is an element. Okay, an element, ito yung symbol niya. Pag nakita kayo ng ganyan, ang ibig sabihin niya, element. Object found in a set. So lahat ng laman ng buong set ay element. So bigyan natin yung okay example para mas maintindihan nyo. Okay. Here's an example of a set. So red, yellow, blue. Ang basa dito, set P is red, yellow, and blue. Blue. So, this is a set of primary colors. Tulad nga sinabi natin, a set is a well-defined collection of elements that share a common characteristic. So, ang common characteristic nila, lahat sila ay primary colors. Ngayon, si red, si yellow, at si blue ay element of set P. Ang pangalan ng set nito ay set P. Papangalan na natin ang set gamit ang malaking letter. So, this is the... And this is an example of uh, set. Okay? Naintindihan ba ako? Okay, let us proceed. Now, let us define a well-defined sets. Yung well-defined sets, mga anak, ito yung set na kaya natin ilagay lahat ng elements na facts. Facts, ha? Baka mali i-spelling nyo ng facts. F-A-C-T-S. Okay? So, facts. So, yung, for example, the sets of months in a year. So, kaya-kaya natin i-define na yun ay January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, okay, December. So, lahat yun ay kaya natin i-define. So, that is a well-defined sets. Magbibigay naman ako ng example ng hindi well-defined sets. For example, sets of uh, your classmates' favorite ice cream flavor. So, iba-iba yung magiging sagot. Iba-iba rin yung magiging ano nila. Parang opinion. So, kapag opinion siya, hindi siya well-defined sets. Kailangan ay facts. Facts ha. So, Another example of a well-defined set. Uh, uh, the days of the weeks. O, oh, alam-alam natin yan. What are the days of the weeks? Those are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Definite siya na yun yung mga days ng weeks. Walang ibang mga kapagpabago nun. Okay? Next. Mm, what are the uh, pets of your classmates? Is that a well-defined set? No, po, ma'am. O, sige nga, bakit? Kasi po, ah, para siyang opinion, naging iba-iba po yung answers nila. Okay, that's correct. Kasi, sabi mo nga, ah, iba-iba yung magiging sagot kasi hindi siya facts. Naintindihan ba ang pinagkaiba ng well-defined set sa hindi well-defined set? Okay, very good. This is the definition of an empty, empty set or null set. So, first, these are the symbols. Yung dalawang bracket na magkaganyan, tapos walang laman sa loob, this is the symbol for an empty set and also this one. So, yung bilog na may cancel sign. So, an empty set is a set that do not have elements. Wala siyang element, contains no element. So, example, buhay na tao na 500 years old. Oh, may kilala pa kayong ganun. Na 500 na, buhay pa. Hmm, Di ba? That is an example of a, of an empty set. Kasi, wala tayong may isusulat doon. Kaya, another example. Set of tao na may gusto sa'yo. Hmm, Di ba? Empty set yun. May gusto ko lang. Kami ka pa dyan. Next, let us proceed with the other term. Next definition is the cardinality of set. Okay. In this given example, M equals red, yellow, and blue. Yung cardinality of set is the number of elements that contain in the set. 
kasi. So, ilan yung elements na nakikita nyo? So, si red, si yellow, at si blue. Ilan yun? Okay, very good. Meron tayong tatlong. Uh, the cardinality of the set is Ay, gano'n lang. So, gano'n lang. Three, gano'n lang. Ay, okay, question? So, those are the definition of terms. Now, let us proceed on how are we going to describe the sets. Verbal okay. description, the roster form, and the set builder notation. For you to understand more, let us have example. Okay. Why is the set of numbers multiple of 2 less than 15? This is an example of a verbal description. Kasi nga, naka in words siya. So, we're going to write this in roster notation. So, how are we going to write that in roster notation? First, the name of this set is the capital letter Y. So, you're going, to, you're going to write capital letter Y. Capital ha, ibig sabihin malaki, bawal maliit. So, Y equals, then write the bracket. Bracket. So, what are the sets of the numbers multiples of 2 less than 15? So, ano-ano yung mga yun? Sulat natin. 2. By the way, we're going to separate the elements using comma. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yung kasunod ng 14 ay 16 na. E sabi dito ay less than 15. So, hanggang 14 lang tayo. So, then, nalagyan natin ng close bracket. So, this is the roster form of this verbal description. So, roster form, yung ganito itsura. So, what is the cardinality of the set? Para mas maintindihan natin. Cardinality, kung ilan yung laman, di ba, na element. So, ilan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the cardinality is 7. Now, let us proceed with set builder notation. Okay, ito yung example natin kanina dun sa... Roster men, roster, uh, roster form. Now we're going to write that in self set builder notation. So how are we going to write that? Y equals ganito yung bracket, tas x, tapos yung guhit na x. Tas para lang din siyang verbal, verbal description. So yung sulat niya is a multiple of 2 that is less than 15. So how are we going to read the symbols? So mat kasi mga anak, marami tayong mga symbols. So, how are we going to write, I uh, to read this? Uh, set, uh, to read this at set of all x's, itong basa, set of all x's, such that x is a multiple of 2 that is less than 15. Again, set of all x's, such that x is a multiple of 2 less than 15. Di ba ang haba nung pinaka-word na ito? Kaya nakasimula lang tayo. Naintindihan ba? For more examples, pakibrowse yung module ninyo. Nasa page 7 and page 8. Yun ha? Okay. Okay class, that example will help you answer independent activity. What's more? Independent activity 1 and independent assessment 1, pages 11 to 12. So yun muna yung part na sasagutan ninyo. So, one whole sheet of paper. Ma'am, last question na po tayo. So, one whole sheet of paper po. Ba, hanggang ngayon, may tanong pa rin yan eh, no? So, one whole sheet of paper. So, that would be all. And mag-discuss pa ako next meeting para sa continuation ng pagsasagot ng ating module. So, if you have questions, PM me or chat me dun sa group chat natin. I will answer your questions kung may hindi kayo may naintindihan dito sa discussion sa video. So, for more uh, updates, please like and subscribe para mas uh, updated kayo sa mga pagsasagot natin sa module. So, that would be all. Goodbye, class!